I don't think I've ever even seen that label before. No, or that label. I never have. Look at that label. The Geordie label, the Devotions. Little Johnny McCoy on the white wire. Oh, it's just crazy. But, uh, there's a box down here. Um, I say a box is an area. It's my next project. Okay, so let's just um, do this. Let's just go in there. This isn't pre prepared. And stand here and we go TV Slim, TV Slim. Artie Wilson on Kent. Oh, some okay ones there with no sleeves on at all. Crazy, isn't it? Oh, no, that's known. Uh, Lee Dorsey's not too crazy. Geddeson, he was the main guy of Oakland um, in the late 50s and early 60s who was behind everything, really. No, they're not too rare. They're sort of uh, rareish. You see, this is where this is where history just seeps out of this place. See, Flash. That was one of the greatest record shops ever known to man. Flash Records in in Los Angeles. They actually uh, made a little tap. Oh, look at that! Jesus Christ! In a modern that well, in a modern sleeve, you know. Lone Stone. Look at that! How, what, what's that? <laughs> You know, I've it's never seen them before in my life. It? They're just incredible, yeah. No, I haven't even touched these boxes. Never touched How them. are these sorted? Are these sorted into alphabetical? No, just in purchase. I just bought all this in one go. No, no, but I've only got so much time in the day. Yeah, look, they're lovely. Look at how lovely they are. Oh, I love and the colours on that. I'm going to get really anal now, right? Really silly. But that, are you, are you watching? Yeah. I think that's the first time that's been out of its packet. I just took it out of History its packet. History being made on camera. On camera. I think that's probably the first time it's like... Oh, uh, the, these sleeves were only made in the 50s. Can you see how they're made? That's actually been cut by a machine. Got little things. See, oh, normally, sure. normally labels are, you know, that's, that's a real... Early, oh, early, it's early sleeve. Amazing how you can early tell sleeve. That. Yeah. Please. Oh, this was came from the best collection in the world in um, in Sacramento, uh, California. The, the guy unfortunately died uh, of uh, cancer, but he had the best accumulation of records on planet Earth. And well, yeah, this was just a tiny portion of it. I went there four times. Wow. Just the best records. Guy was great. No, he, he, he trusted. Again, it comes down to trust. He trusted me and uh, and asked me to come and buy his soul records. He wow. asked different people to buy his blues records, different people to buy his rockabilly mm. records, different people to buy his garage records. He had great records. Just the best. I mean, even that sleeve. A real. They used to have these little slogans in the fifties. Look, a real treat on both sides. That's Just so great, good. isn't it? Big label, King label. Let's go. Stomp Gordon. They, they, they just got, this is, you know, this is all going to be lost, and uh, and that's what uh, when they went to CDs in the eighties, that's what they did. They killed art. This is all art. For me, it's art. And like, um, I'm like I've never seen these before, which I really haven't. Okay, so. Uh, that's that's fifties. It's in a fifties sleeve. That's fifties. That's fifty. You you need to learn the um, the the uh, um, the coloration of, of labels, which uh, yellow Atlantic is is fifties, and then it went to red in the end. That's the early checker label, and you, and you know the checker label from the sixties is blue. And uh, I mean, for me, that would that would be interested. Crisscross out of New York, little loofer. For me, I, I don't know the record at all, so that's why it's interesting. Don't know the label at all. I know that label. Little Mac, Freddie King. That, that he, he's pretty common. Uh, oh, see that's look at that. That's, that. that's interesting, isn't it? Johnny's Jive, Margaret. See that's a, a really common '60s sleeve with with a '50s record inside of it. It's Muddy Waters. And again, that's in beauty. Look at the condition of that. That's absolutely beautiful. Hard to find 
find the other 50s ruffles in that sort of condition. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really need sleeves on some of these. But for me, for me that, that, that sleeve is beautiful. You know, somebody sat down and designed that one day in the 50s. I think all these, you know. And what Paul's been doing, the, the, the guy who does my YouTube channel, he's been pinching little bits off the, you know, the labels and the, and the things and, and doing art with it. And it's, it's absolutely stunning. So let's pick another pile up and have a little look at it. Dead spiders on them, you know. Oh, I think we've already looked at this. Oh, there's a Chris label, which is a blues label. See, that's nice. Mr. Ruffin on Spark. It could be Kenneth Ruffin, it could be any Ruffin, shouldn't it? Oh, here's Owen Ruffin. And there's, you yeah. know, well, there's loads of Ruffins here. Ruff Ruffin. Ruff Ruffin, the place where I got them from, so they, those are all Riff Ruffins. But, you know. Interesting, I, but I, I'm just as into the art, I mean, I'm even, I even love these, you know, these sleeves are great. See, look at that. On beat. They're all trying to get these uh, catchy little phrases going, you know. It's going to be a smash, it's going to be a hit. It's on beat, you know. Devil dealing. You, I, I'm telling you, should we go and play this? <laughs> uh, I think this is going to be uh, pop porny, uh, popcorn y gumbo. It's going to be a mixture of gumbo and popcorn and country and western. Here's a guy I like, Otis Rush. He's great. Should we take this one to play as well? Yeah, come on, because these are going to be the first time I've heard. But look, I can't say. That's what you. That, that's thing. what you would do. Like, like read the label and use your imagination. This could be dead, uh, terrible, but on beat, love what, it. What? You know? um, look at what a little year? figure. Look at that figure there. That girl. That's brilliant. Can you see it? It's great. What year do you think it's from? Then what? Where? I would say that was uh, 58. 58. So it's going to be quite early. Well, there might be. A... Well, judging by the 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 figurine, the yeah. the woman. You would have said earlier than 58. I'd have probably no. I'd have probably said about the same time. Would you? Yeah. Okay. But the thing I like about it, devil dealing. Dark, also like. Haunting. Also like that prez, which sort of like uh, evokes visions of a. Um, a uh, Latin guy, press. Yes, yeah. Yes. So we're talking Latin. We're talking girl with a nice ass and. Like <laughs> and we're talking devil dealing. Devil dealing sounds like it should be down and dirty, Latin. Yeah. So we read the let's label. Let's go and see. We, we could be totally wrong. If you're right. Yeah. See if you're so, on point. So when we get there, and it, it goes. Um, Do you? I'm crying in my beer. Right? <laughs> Do you usually have a good sense of what a record sounds like? Are you, are you usually quite on point with that? I can imagine you are. Well, I, I can fit them into a category once I hear them, but look, this is. But I mean, like, do you think you're correct in what this is going to sound like? Are you usually quite good at gauging what it's like? Guess what? You know, we were saying when we was in America, when, when you see a lovely label like that and it says, "I'm crying in my beer at the rodeo," it ain't going to be sold. No. No. So we, we know. See. So you can take something. This is going to be Latiny, Latiny cha cha. say I mean we can google it when we get home but Prez Kenneth wrote by K Kid and OC Perkin oh, this is a, 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 a 